Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? 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 Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real things but we don't take life too seriously. We got my homie Anil here. What up, what up? Anil, introduce yourself. Let them know what you up to. Uh, I'm Anil. I'm a physical therapist here in Chicago, but I'm also rapping. I'm pursuing rap like, pretty, uh, pretty um, strongly, so I'm doing that on my spare time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Anil came to me because he wanted to talk about pursuing creative careers. Mm -hmm. as an Indian, but specifically as a Malayali, right? Yeah. And I feel like you should kind of explain why you wanted to talk about that. So I want to talk about that like, like specifically because like, what pushed me into doing it, besides just always being into hip hop and just wanting to rap in general, but just like realizing what the benefit of having a creative outlet really, really could mean and, and how it could be impactful in your life. like. When I started to really dive into it, it was when I was looking into like scientific literature, like looking mm. into psychology, looking into like books and art, like, like artists, you know. And I watched and read so much that it's like irresponsible not to have a creative outlet because that kind of excitement, that kind of fulfillment that you get from reaching a creative goal. It's something that you can't get in other places. And people try to do that with like partying or drugs or some other type of thing. Mm. But this is like a healthy alternative for it. So like, I think it's also thinking about like how we've been talking about how like everyone has a creative side to them, right? Like everyone is a creator. Everyone yeah. is kind of here to create something. We all have that power, right? I feel like women, I feel like women know this more than anybody else, right? Cause like women we have create. children, we you create, create yeah. you know, exactly. So like, and they, they, they have that experience with, within that, you know, and, and you don't have to tell a woman how meaningful like creating a child is, you know, for, but like, I feel like a lot of people don't, get that joy on a regular basis you know it's like putting in that labor and then delivering something that's really really special and personal and meaningful and just just and is a reflection of yourself that kind of that kind of rewarding experience can happen through so many different realms you know and like people just get people just think that they can you know supplement that kind of experience with just making money and i, I don't think that's you know I don't think that's gonna give you the that real connection to life. That something like giving yeah, birth that's, or that's being really creative. interesting yeah. that you're tying yeah. like birthing a child and then, like creating like music and whatnot. It's really interesting. My, like my process is like is it's really interesting because there's such a, there's, there's so many psychological hurdles that you got to get past in order to like to say you're a rapper like I almost kind of wanted to like call this video coming out of the closet because like it's like, <laughs> like announcement this like, is my announcement it's like so hard to let's play like, hey guys I want to rap like yeah I, I mean know? I feel like the same way where I almost feel like I, I'm not a legit creative sometimes and now I'm like no I am but I, I still feel a little like insecure to say it because I don't really perform I don't like create art but I still feel like you feel the, creating you feel like videos creative. and I even yeah. feel like event planning is creative work. As far as any community it's it's just it's, it can be a challenge because you know there's such a, a competitive nature when it comes to like like my business and like when it comes to like, like the music business? Music, no, 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 in general, business, like making money, like, like yeah. beginning, like being a doctor or like, you know, being, being able to do the right like investment moves or, or hosting businesses and stuff like that. Yeah. There's a lot of like, like, there's a lot of competitive energy in that realm and people give you respect for doing that. But like, you know, you just don't hear a lot of uh, encouragement for like, you know, I don't want to spend my time learning how to make money, but I want to learn how to like paint better or I want to learn how to like sing better or I want to learn how to make, make it make like make a song or something like that because there's no there's no financial objective for it so it almost seems like a waste of time but the yeah i guess the thing is also not really recognizing it as a career yeah right and yeah. i think it's because it's not like you can go to school to be a rapper and then when you graduate graduate from school then you get a job as a rapper right? exactly right? there's so a lot it's of like, uncertainty to it's it. hard to like make yeah. that connection i think in our community and it's because you know they're looking for something secure and I get it I understand like um yeah I understand the the 
the importance of that. Yeah. But we've been privileged to be able to try things. That's a, that's the biggest thing to me. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like it's you know at first when you think about it, it's like, or going through it, it's a big challenge. But when mm -hmm. you sit down and actually think about the opportunity that like a lot of people in my in our, in our community have, mm -hmm. it's like such a huge blessing. Yeah. Because we have like for me personally, I have this whole I have this whole career to support my dream. You know like. Yeah, you like, can fund it. I can fund it. I can be independent, you yeah. know, and like it's so it's such an opportune time because I'm able to fund it at a time where the, the entire industry supports an independent pursuit mm -hmm. towards towards like having creativity. And it's just so much easier with the internet to like release your own music. So so easy. Yeah, like you know? I can just literally use my camera, record a video, edit it on my computer, and just post it on the internet, and it's free. And it's free. And like. It takes time and it takes energy of our own, yeah. but then you're able to just share. You're just able to share. And like, like people can interact with it and enjoy it. Yeah. And yeah, you get there's so much exposure at your fingertips now. And yeah. it's just like unbelievable. And I'm so grateful for my parents because, or like my community because yeah. I have this back on. Like even like, like nine times out of 10, like you don't, you don't aren't able to sustain a career in, in artistic development. That's that's just the stat, right? It's just like a general it's, stat. It's a challenge. It's yeah, a I challenge. think you really have to put like, exactly. even if you put your all into it, yeah. I think it's still, the percentages are probably really low. Exactly. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's most often considered a young man's sport. I mean, the history suggests that like doing art is like, it, it the, the term starving artist is there for a reason, you know? Yeah, starving so, artist. So like you know, having an education to back to have to have yeah. to fall back on is really useful. And I don't think a lot of people get that kind of encouragement from your parents to get that security. You know, and I think that yeah. we're lucky enough to have it. So like, right. It, and a lot of time, one like pushing us to get mm -hmm. our degrees and getting good jobs, and then a lot of times like financial help or just like you know, help in general. Yeah, and like and the education. I mean, you can translate it like. No, you can't take away my. I, I, I'm a physical therapist, so I, I went to like a like a graduate doctorate program. So like, you know, the ability to read complex materials, to have a work ethic, to be professional, to be you know, to be proactive when it comes to certain things, yeah. like to have all this co collegiate experiences. You know, now that I direct that energy towards the music, like that's it's all like, transferable skills. It's all really transferable skills. Yeah, you yeah, know, that's it's like, really interesting. Like, like I'm a professional. I know how to be a professional. Yeah, you know, so it's like now if I just take that and I and I and I pivot towards being a professional musician mm -hmm. you know it's it's it doesn't you know there's there's no downside to it you know yeah for real I mean there's well, why not? there's that time and debt and shit but like outside of that <laughs> <laughs> right I mean but that. like we're young and we can try and yeah. and I feel like also as long as you're doing it for yourself and it's like making you happy like what's the harm there's the harm in it you yeah know? But like I mean, like I had to go to a psychologist when I started pursuing this because I was having so much anxiety about pursuing it and yeah. telling people, you mm -hmm. know. But like when I was talking to my, my my psychologist about this, he was like, you know, psychology used to not be a thing. People used to get this self help from books and literature and music uh -huh. and the pursuit of that. That was like therapy. That was therapy. Yeah. You know that 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 was like the original form of therapy and yeah. you think about it like people had to have some kind of like uh, avenue to avenue have to, to build psychological fortitude mm -hmm. you know but now like science has gone like our society has gone so far away from like like appreciation for personal artistry yeah that they they simply ha has to you have to have an objectionable scientific background in order to get that kind of like support and they look at artistry as like the pseudoscientific realm and that's just not that, that's just not what it historically has been it's just a new field in this whole psychology thing so that's what i learned from my psychologist so that's when i, when I started learning that it was like oh oh that's yeah that's, made me want to be more invested in it yeah know? like it makes sense like it it works yeah right like even if it's just a hobby it works it makes you feel good like it's something else for you to do besides like watching TV and drinking yeah. and doing drugs like not you specifically but in general in like general, it's yeah. like people just think like oh I had a bad day like let me get a drink for sure yo I had a bad day let me yeah. write let me write a song let exactly. me and let me work on videos let me let me work on anything yeah it sets a goal that's so difficult that you have to set aside a lot of, a lot of time and work at it every day mm -hmm. so it's like it keeps you on track every day, and as long as you have your rewards here and there, like 
you know, it just prevents you from a lot of garbage. And being from the healthcare field, it's like, I see garbage all the time. I see poor lifestyle choices all the time. So it's like, I'm always trying to problem solve it. How do I avoid that? Mm -hmm. You know, and this I is like, like kind of been my solution. To this it. is our announcement. <laughs> and Neil's a rapper. I'm a creative. For sure, we both created. We doing this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank yeah. you to Anil for being attention. here. We get in philosophical. We get in deep. We always get in deep. Like with this beard out. <laughs> like Please deep. come join us at the Upside Down Smiley Show. We just hanging out. Yeah, we yeah. chilling in my my living room. We got a Mandela Creatives meeting after this. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next event. Mandela Creatives. Uh yeah, big big moves this week. I just I just uh, got on Spotify. So my my first single, Break It Down. Break It Down. Which happened? Which which I made the first time I ever got into a studio, which is really crazy. Um, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Catch me on Spotify. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!